Hello and welcome to Starfish Online. I hope you're all doing well. It's only the second week of lockdown and I'm already just wearing my onesie all the time. And I can't even remember the last time I wore socks. It's time for some quarantine quaffs. Last week we made caterpillars and here are some that you sent in to show me. First we have these blue caterpillars by Ollie and Harry and I really like their faces. One of them looks very happy and the other one looks like he's very very hungry and he's got big teeth ready to munch leaves with. And these caterpillars are by Jude and Seb and they have made it outside and they're basking in the sunshine and looking very happy and relaxed in their garden. This week we've got a very special guest helping us with our crafts. It's none other than Katie. KT, take it away! Good morning, Starfish! Um, really, really missing all of you. Hope you're okay. We're okay here, really enjoying homeschooling. So, we are going to do another craft really enjoyed seeing the crafts that you've made over the last couple of weeks and this week we are going to make some masks now if you have ever done a starfish craft with me before you will know that i love a paper plate craft so today you will need a paper plate however if you don't have a paper plate at home you can ask your grown-ups to find um, another piece of card maybe the back of the cereal box that would work just as well but we need a kind of rough circle shape so we are going to make some animal masks. I'm going to show you the kind of animal masks you might choose to make. You can make a zebra mask, or you could perhaps make an elephant mask. You have to really use your imagination for this one to look like an elephant mask. But today I thought we could make a lion mask. So lions are always good fun, aren't they? Especially for a good roar. So I mean, some good roars last week when we when we had our dinosaurs the week before last. And I've got lots of things in my craft cupboard at home that would work really well for um, a lion. So we're thinking about a male lion, and they, we know they've got really nice big manes. So I'm going to show you the things that we're going to need. So we're going to need paper plates or a bit of card, like I said. You're going to need. Just some odds and ends, bits of card, tissue paper, with whatever kind of um, colours you need for your animal. So for my lion, I've cut all those little bits up into strips. Got some fabric, bit of ribbon, some tissue there. Then we need two bits of card for ears. And I've decided I'm going to go for a little nose in a triangle shape. So you can um, get your grown up perhaps to help you cut those out or to draw around something that you can cut out. We're going to need a lolly stick if you've got something like a lolly stick or perhaps um, you could have some elastic with some holes for your mask. We'll go through how you might fix it at the end. You're going to need a pair of scissors for your grown up and you'll need some glue. Okay, right, let's get making. Okay, so first of all, you need to get your grown up to cut a nice big hill shape in your paper plate so that it ends up looking a bit like that so you can pick your mouth through so we can do some roaring and then you need to work out with your paper plate where your eyes are going to go and then ask your grown up to cut out some holes for your eyes. Now we're going to get on to the really fun part where we get to stick. So you need to get hold of your glue and then stick loads of glue in the middle where your nose would be. <coughs> And if you find that little bit of card that we cut out in the shape of a triangle, and you can stick that on about there on your plate. You need to get your ears and put those one on each side, like your average set of ears. And then we need to think about being really creative with our mane. So I'm gonna get all my bits of tissue paper that I've cut up, I'm gonna put loads of glue. I know you love, love the glue at Starfish. You can go crazy with your glue. And then you can start sticking on bits of tissue. You make it really fluffy, it doesn't have to be neat. If you've ever seen 
a lion in real life at the zoo, they do not look neat. We watched The Lion King last night in our family and it was the real action version, live action, and um, Scar the lion is pretty mangy looking, so maybe this can be a bit like Scar the lion. So use lots of different colours. So if you're making a zebra and you're doing something stripy, or perhaps you're making a bird, I think before we've made um, bird masks at, at, um, at Starfish, so you can perhaps use some feathers or different coloured tissue paper. You can be as creative as you like. You don't have to do it exactly like I've done it. And why make one? You can make several different masks like I've made. So you can make, make a whole zoo or maybe a farmyard. Um, of animals. So keep going and you need to try and get that mane to go all the way around the side, all the way around the side of the lion's ears. And then at this point you might be thinking about how you get your mask to stay on. So if you had a hole punch at home, if I show you on this one, you could punch some little holes on the side and then either use some string or some elastic if your grown-ups have got some, something like that at home. Whoopsie daisy. Um, and then you could fix it behind your ears, but I'm gonna use um, a lolly stick because that's what I've got in my cupboard. And then it's really easy to change masks when, when you're playing or, de or demonstrating them. Oops, my glue is really sticky. Now, it might be that you don't have loads of bits of card or bits of fabric at home, so you could just use a pen. You can cut out the shape of a mask and get all your crayons out and enjoy sticking things on with those instead. Okay, so I think we are nearly at the point. I forgot to mention earlier, it might be also useful to have a bit of sellotape um, so you can secure your lolly stick on. Um, I'm going to just stick a little bit of ribbon on as well because that's really nice. And then we'll be ready to show our masks. So, next thing is we're going to turn our mask over and you'll need a little tiny bit of sellotape, which I have this. <coughs> and your lolly stick and then kind of stick it on the back and then hopefully there is my lion mask at which point you can rah, enjoy Katie, it's time to sing. So get ready, get your singing shoes on. I don't know why shoes would help you sing. For the first song, you're going to need to be on your feet and be ready to march either on the spot or around the room. So up you get, nice stamping feet ready. And we're going to follow as we sing the Grand Old Duke of York. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. This next one, I don't know if we normally do this at Starfish, but you probably will know it. Uh, it's also got actions, and so you need to stay stood on your feet. And to do the actions, when we sing about our head, we touch our head, 
then we do shoulders, then we do knees, which you can't see my knees, and then we do toes, which you can't see my toes. Um, and then in the middle bit we go and eyes and ears and mouth and nose and the song goes like this head shoulders knees and toes knees and toes head shoulders knees and toes knees and toes and eyes and ears and mouth and nose head and shoulders knees and toes knees and toes Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes And eyes and ears and mouth and nose Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes And eyes and ears and mouth and nose Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. By the way, if Disney is watching, I am available for the next Mary Poppins reboot. You can call it Mike Poppins. Now we can add in another verse, can't we? And this time we're going to do feet and tummies, arms and chins. And then eyes and ears and mouth and shins. Now shins are the part on the underneath your knee on your leg. So we're going to do, this is a bit of a tongue twister, this one. Feet and tummies, arms and chins, arms and chins. Feet and tummies, arms and chins, arms and chins. And eyes and ears and mouth and shins. Feet and tummies, arms and chins, arms and chins. Feet and tummies, arms and chins, arms and chins. Feet and tummies, arms and chins, arms and chins. And eyes and ears and mouth and shins. Feet and tummies, arms and chins, arms and chins. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, head and shoulders, head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And now we're going to learn a new song that I've just written. And it goes like this. Ten toilet rolls on the shelf. Ten toilet rolls on the shelf. A little happy shopper comes to buy a toilet roll. He only needs one, so he only takes one. And now there's nine toilet rolls on the shelf. Nine toilet rolls on the shelf. A little happy shopper comes to buy a toilet roll She only needs one, so she only takes one And now there's eight toilet rolls on the shelf Eight toilet rolls on the shelf A little happy shopper comes to buy a toilet roll He only needs one, so he only takes one And now there's seven toilet rolls on the shelf Seven toilet rolls on the shelf a little happy shopper comes to buy the toilet roll She only needs one, so she only takes one And now there's six toilet rolls on the shelf Six toilet rolls on the shelf A little happy shopper comes to buy some toilet roll He only needs one, so he only takes one And now there's five toilet rolls on the shelf Five toilet rolls on the shelf a little nasty shopper comes to take some toilet roll He only needs one but he decides to take everything that's left Five, four, three, two, one How greedy! And now there's no toilet rolls on the shelf How will I wipe my own bum? And we're going to end with your favourite It's Sleeping Bunnies so, if you'd like to find yourself a nice comfy spot on the floor and go to sleep, and then we'll start.
Wake up soon. Hop little bunnies, hop hop. Hop little bunnies, hop hop. Hop little bunnies, hop hop. Hop. Go to sleep, little bunnies. Go to sleep, little buddies. See the little buddies sleeping till it's noon. Shall we wake them with the merry tune? Oh, so still. I really hope my friends never find these videos. That's all we've got time for for Starfish Online. Now is a time when you can go and get some tea or coffee or a snack. I am seriously considering going back to bed. And But before I do that, I am going to play us out with the goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to go now. I must say you've made my day. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. See you later, alligators. Bye. I'm sitting in my sunroom. I'm sitting in my pyjamas. My pyjamas happen to be a giant onesie that looks like a crocodile. I'm also sitting on a beanbag. And I'm having a whale of a time. More like a crocodile of a time.